Before starting, make sure your Zim device is unplugged. Also make sure that your mouse and keyboard are plugged into your computer. First download the latest firmware and Zim Matrix Manager from the official Zim website located on the Zim Matrix Downloads page. Here you can download the firmware for PC or Mac. And here you can download the Zim Matrix Manager for iOS, Android, or PC. In this guide I'll be using the PC Manager. First, locate and open the Zim Matrix Flash tool. While your Zim device is unplugged, hold the button on the top of your device then plug it into your computer. Your Zim should now be blue. If you have existing configs on your Zim device, it is always recommended to back up your Zim matrix before updating it. Now, to update your Zim device, press the Update Firmware button. As your Zim matrix is updating, it will display yellow. The Flash tool will display update progress as well. Upon completion, your Zim matrix will restart and complete the flash process. Finally, it will display the normal rainbow startup sequence. Your Zim matrix is now updated. Once the setup process is complete, if you downloaded the Zim matrix manager on your iOS or Android device, simply open the app. Otherwise, install the Zim matrix manager and complete the setup process. Once the setup process is complete, run the Zim matrix manager. When you run the manager for the first time, go through the Welcome and License Agreement screens. After that, click Download to get the latest game support. When connecting for the first time, press the button on your Zim Matrix. You will see your Zim Matrix start the pairing process by flashing cyan. Once the Zim Matrix connects to the manager, it will flash cyan green. Now I'll explain the basic functions of the manager. Here you can adjust the global settings of the Zim such as customizing navigate mode and the input timers for the different states of input conditions. To use navigate mode, you are required to create a config using mouse and keyboard or mouse, keyboard and controller output. To customize navigate mode, adjust your hotkey combination to toggle in and out of it here and enable this option. Here you can adjust the sensitivity of your cursor while in navigation mode if required. To create a new config, choose the New Config option. Select your game and the platform you use. Select your input and output method. If you play on PC, I recommend to use mouse, keyboard, and controller output to have access to the navigation mode feature. Once selected, press New to create the config. Once the config is created, View the required game settings and set your in-game settings to the settings provided. You can now plug your mouse into port 1 of the Zim and keyboard into port 2. If your Zim is not already white, toggle into navigation mode. If your mouse or keyboard are unresponsive, restart your computer. Click here to edit your config. First, switch to the advanced editing experience to have access to all the features. Here you can rename your config. Adjust the color of your config. Copy your config code to share and paste other config codes. Here you can adjust the output method if desired as well as the update rate of your Zim. And here you can adjust the DPI of your config. Make sure to match this value to the DPI saved to your mouse. To adjust your hip sensitivity, adjust it here. A lower value will result in faster sensitivity. Here you can adjust how smooth the crosshair will feel. Here you can create a custom ballistics curve, which will change the speed of your cursor depending on where you are on the curve. For the most natural feel, I recommend to keep it as is. The same settings apply here expect you will now have an activation option, which can be used to add an activation or deactivation delay when aiming down sights some games have a slight delay before entering and exiting the aim down side state. And here you can choose to inherit settings from the hip fire page or not. To add your own mappings, press the plus icon and select which key you want to add. Remap the key to whichever key you desire. You can also use the smart actions editor for more advanced features or to create macros. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or join my Discord server link below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you play Apex Legends and you're looking for an advanced Apex Legends config, you can find the best Apex Legends configs on my website. 
Have a great day.